Well, hello everybody. This is Joe, KI4ASK. I'm gonna do a quick YouTube video. I am going to demonstrate using my OpenSpot 4 Pro while mobile. It is tethered to my cell phone, which I'm also using to shoot this video for the data connection. And I am going to send a picture from here in Atlanta to my friend Brian KG5GJT, who's in New Orleans. So uh, let me show you what we've got set up here. All right, there's my OpenSpot 4 Pro. It is already connected to Reflector 55 Delta, which is used for picture and other digital transmissions on the D-Star network. And then there's a little bit of a glare there, my ID52. I've got a picture queued up in the transmit window, and it is already talking to my OpenSpot. So I'm just gonna wait for Brian to make contact with me. He's got a small group there with him in New Orleans, and we're going to demonstrate this. Makes a handy app called the ST4001. There's an I version for iOS, a W version for Windows, an A version for Android. It's used to get pictures off your computer or phone and onto your radio using Bluetooth. This is the iPhone version. All you do is tap on the app, select a picture from your camera roll, and then send it over to your radio using Bluetooth. Put in this ID52 into picture mode is very, very easy. Just go to the menu button, tap on picture, and that's all there is to it. And you've got a receive window and a transmit window, and you can just select either one of those to uh, queue up a picture for transmit, or if you get a picture in receive mode, you can just tap on it and zoom in. It's real simple. The IC705 works in a very similar fashion. If I select the transmit window, you can see I can zoom in on the picture and I actually have a picture of my open spot, uh, my iPhone, and uh, you can see the window on my Mac there. KG5GJT, KI4ASK. Brian, I am standing by, ready to send the picture when you guys are ready. All right, QSL, stand by for picture transmission. This is KI4ASK, Joe in Atlanta. Okay, sending the picture is just as easy as hitting the quick menu, scrolling down to TXL, and hit OK. And now it's transmitting. You can see the block going by as it scans through the pixels there. It's going out on my open spot. All right, so we're almost done with the transmission. You can see the transmit light is on and the indicator is near the bottom of the picture. Okay, Brian, the first round of the picture transmission is complete. KG5GJT from KI4ASK. How did it come out, over? KG5GJT, I'm missing like 12 pixels if you want to send it a second time. Okay, will do. Stand by for retransmission. So it's not uncommon when you're sending pictures over the D-Star network for there to be missing pixels. So all I have to do is go back to the transmit all and it will fill in the missing blocks. So here we go, resending the picture and hopefully it'll fill in those missing pixels on Brian's radio. Okay, Brian, the retransmission is complete. How did it come out over KG5GJT, KI4ASK? Uh, almost perfect eco there. I'm just missing two blocks, but uh, thanks for the demo, and uh, I really appreciate it. Brian, KG5GJT, sent me this picture after the demonstration of his D-Star and Donuts from things on his side of the radio. And 7-3 from us here in Atlanta. KG5GJT from KI4ASK. Joe in Atlanta. 7-3, Brian. Y'all have fun at your D-Star and Donuts function. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, always good to have the help. 783. All right. That's it for our D-Star picture transmission demonstration. 
Hope everybody has a great day, and we'll see you again soon for some kind of ham radio adventure. This is KI4ASK, Joe in Atlanta. All right, so this is what it looks like to receive a picture. Uh, if you've got the picture window open, you don't have to really do anything. The picture will just show up automatically. So you can see it coming in, and I can zoom over to it and get an expanded view. And you can see a few missing pixels. That's fairly normal on the D-Star network. Looks like this picture is coming from ON8NT. Very good. ON8NT from KI4ASK. Very good picture, only missing two pixels. Okay, Roger, Roger, Joe. I think it is Joe. Um, where are the pictures I can? Are they uh, together or are they spread all over, the, all, all over the, the picture? I can send part of the picture again. Yeah, if you want to just uh, resend it, you know, hit the uh, the TX all button and uh, it should fill in those missing pixels. They're uh, toward the middle and the bottom, but uh, most of it came through. Uh, go ahead, I'll stand by. This is KI4ASK, Joe in Atlanta. Okay, QRX. Looks like he's using a 9700. That's an excellent radio for doing the picture sending. Wow, that came out great. Oh, for a Joe. O N eight N T. O N eight N T from K I four A S K. Uh, perfect copy on the picture. Uh, it's complete. All pixel, all pixels filled in. Over. Half in the bottom half. Again, so uh, <laughs> it goes much quicker, uh, Joe. Yeah, very nice. Kilo India four Alpha Sierra Kilo I think. Oh, with 8 November Tango, yeah. The picture that you sent, or your, your friend there, I only missed one picture. It is a picture of a screen and a, and a keyboard. And just in the middle, I missed one picture, but uh, also a perfect picture, Joe. Kilo in your four, uh, Alpha Sierra Kilo, or with 8 November Tango. A fine business on that. Good to uh, to know. I am located in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Where, where are you located at? Over O N eight N T K I four S K. Okay, K I four S K A S K. Oh, in eight November Tango. The name is Jeff, like Julian Echo Foxtrot, and I'm halfway between Bruges and Ghent, the two historical cities, and and. and in uh, Belgium. I'm just between the two cities there. Uh, it's uh, 20 kilometers to Bruges and 20 kilometers to Ghent, so we're just in the middle. Kilo India 4, Alpha Sierra Kilo, or 8 November Tango. Oui, merci. Je parle peu de français. Over. Not a problem. <laughs> I, I do speak French, no problem, but that's not my word, my, word, my mother's tongue. <laughs> you know, in Belgium we speak two languages, Dutch, Dutch, Flemish, or French, and there is even a small German community, German-speaking community, so, but my mother tongue is, is Dutch, Flemish, but I do speak French, no problem. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> 10 kilo in your 4 Alpha Sierra Kilo for an 8 November Tango. Okay, Jeff, fine business on that. And uh, I knew about the French and the Flemish. I did not know that there was a, a you know, German spoken there. Of course, we live in an international world, so all countries speak all languages, I think. Hey, listen, I appreciate you sending the, uh, the picture and, uh, and giving me feedback on mine. I hope you have a great day there in Belgium, and we will do the same here in Atlanta. So I'm gonna clear off the reflector and just bid you 7-3 and a good day. ON8NT from KI4ASK. 7-3, Jeff. Lovely three, Joe. All the best. Yeah, well, it's a very small German community. It's maybe 75,000 people or so. But anyway, they uh, have their own parliament and things like that. So uh, <laughs> they have uh, a kind of autonomy uh, within, within the country. 
all the best, Joe. 73 is a kilo India for Alpha Sierra Kilo and 8 November Tango. Well, that was pretty cool. Not only did I send a picture, uh, I received one from Belgium. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, this is cool stuff just from the back of my car. No uh, big antennas needed. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, and that's it from here in Atlanta. This is Joe, KI4ASK. We'll see you again soon. Starting to rain here, yikes.